Hello everyone, thank you for joining us at today's council meeting. You might notice the new play mat. The Lotus Council has our play mats ready at ink.com. I'll have a, a link in the description below. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. So I've got a bunch of mail that we're going to go through. We've got some stuff from Dan Wiseman, as well as some stuff from our sponsor Geekified that I purchased. So first I'm going to go through some of the mail that I got from Dan. So he's been doing these VIP flip games to help raise money to help his mom. Hope she's doing better, better friend. And I've entered a few times and they're pretty fun. He randomizes the cards and basically what you get is based off of your order and what you what the card is. So here's some of the stuff that I've gotten. So I have a Riku of two reflections. Might try and do a commander deck around that. It looks really interesting. Have a Liege of the Tangle. A Lux Cannon. Foil Sphinx of the Guild Pack. Foil Strength of Arms. Foil Cathodian. Foil Orcish Vandal. A non-foil. Dark Stell Citadel. Not worth a lot, but it's an artifact land, and if you have an Artifact Matters uh, commander deck, this is a really good one to have because it's also indestructible. We have Kazol's Troll Collector, Battle Rattle Shaman, Pentad Prism, Hinder, and the big pull I got was an Urza's Tower. Box Topper Foil. Just absolutely gorgeous. So, I had also opened a VIP pack, but that video had some issues and got corrupted. So, I figured I'd just kind of show the, the hits, and it wasn't that great. So, I have a, a stack of common and uncommon foils, and I've basically pulled out the high hitters. So, we've got an Eldrazi spawn and mirror token, elephant, and tuk tuk the returned. Get a lot of tuk tuk tokens for some reason. Pongify, Foil, Throne of Geth, A Path to Exile, Foil Forest, don't really care for that one, but a Foil, John Avon Island, really gorgeous, Mirror Battlesphere, A Bloodspore, Thranax, and a Full Art Expedition Map, Box Topper Foil, and a box topper foil exploration. So it wasn't the most spicy of packs, but I did get some cards that I can use in my decks, and that's kind of how I feel when I open things. Plus foil frogify and chatter the squirrel. <laughs> I like red cards. So what we're gonna do now is I have these two boxes. I kind of know what's sort of on ah. So let's see. So I have a box of the Masters that I've ordered, as well as one of the new super spicy gnome care packages ah. and oh one of the gnome repacks. And oh opening this off to the side. So we've got a pack there of some stuff. So Double Masters, we'll open that in another video. Let me just check to see if there's anything else in here. I don't see anything, so we'll just set the box off to the side here. And we'll see what's in here. So I did order some singles, so it's possible those could be in there. So ah, this is the Gnome Repack, I think. And these are some singles that I ordered. So we'll set that off to the side. And we'll we'll open it after we open this. So this is gonna be the super spicy gnome care package. So this was a bit spicier of a version of the normal gnome care package. We'll have a link to our previous gnome care package video that you can find above. So let's see what all you get in this. So I'll move this over here. So we have a theme booster. 
sleeves, a Garouk Planeswalker deck, more theme boosters, a Garouk box, so I see a Garouk theme here, Ikoria pre-release kit, we've got an, another theme booster, Relic tokens, another Relic token, a D20, ooh, really cool dice pack, more Relic tokens, then we have a play mat. Oh, very cool. So, very cool art. Let's see, let's not say what it is. Not familiar with that art. I wasn't playing. It's from 2016. We have several stickers. <laughs> Azorius, because why not? But then Lily. And Akaya. Then we have some packs. We've got Core 21, Ikoria, 2020, another 21, 21, and an Ixalan. And then we have the special packs. So let's kind of move some stuff around here because probably keep this one sealed. So dice to the side, sleeves, deck box. So we have these packs, relic token, kind of move everything back in, pre-release kit, and then the super spicy edition. So this could be VIP Masters packs, it could be Modern Horizons, there's any number of things that could have been added. So we've got, ooh, I'll keep that upside down. Ikoria Collector Booster, a Double Masters, a Mystery Booster, Modern Horizons, and cool, Foil Promo Pack. So let's open some stuff and see what we get. We'll save that for last as well as those. And I think I'll start with the theme boosters. If you're not familiar with the theme boosters, basically you get one, maybe two rares, and the rest is a bunch of uncommons and commons in the theme. So we'll go through these fairly quickly because most of these... Okay. So a Swift Blade Vindicator from the Boros deck. Yeah, for the most part, unless you're doing specific stuff with them, they're, they're not necessarily the, the best purchase you can make. I know Wizard says that they, they like to think of these as you're buying and you're building your collection. But really, most of the cards you get are bulk. So I don't know how worth it is. Okay, so Benthic Biomancer being the rare. Not sure on some of the prices of these, but it's okay. So for the Ikoria ones, the stuff is at the very bottom of the box. Now with the Ikoria, you can get some of the alternative arts. So I'll just kind of, yep. Two migratory great horns. I love the artwork. A third one, ooh, I can maybe build a standard deck if, yep, I do have a, a fourth one here, but it's not the alternative frame. And the rare is a Mythos of Brokos. So I really like the art, kind of funny that I got three of the same one. So let's open this one. This one is a black theme booster. So I had a, I did have a good variety of the theme boosters. I got uh, black and green, as well as Boros and um, Simic. So 
So again, going through these, ooh, Cavern Whisperer. Maybe I'll build the Golgari deck. I've been kind of wanting to test out Golgari Mutate on Arena. A lot easier now that some of the stuff has been banned. And <laughs> Mythos of Nathroi. Well, it's true to theme. So, <clears throat> that's not terrible. Let's go ahead and open some of these packs now. So, we'll probably, I'll save these for, for a minute. I'll open these from newest to oldest. See through time being the rare. Let's make a stack here. Opened up a fair amount of Quark 21. Speaker of the Heavens. Speaking of Dan. Okay, our third Core 21 pack. Kind of happy that I did get an Ikori one. <laughs> and a Temple. I know somebody that just loves getting Temples. But in all seriousness, this is a pretty good budget land for getting two colors. Okay, another Ikoria pack. I am glad about the Ikoria pre-release kit. Because that is one of my favorite sets. I think it's seriously underrated. And the rare being a Lava Bring Venturer and a Titanoth Rex foil. I'll put him the foil here with the alternative arts. Going back to Core 2020. Really good set. Okay. So, brought back. When I played in the Core 2020 pre release, that was my promo. I had no idea what to do with it. So really interesting. Uh, I wish I was playing and collecting during Exelon. Kind of sad to have found out that there was a cool, uh, um, the cool Amonkhet set, then there was the Exelon sets. If I had been playing at the time, I would have really, really enjoyed these. I'll go th slower through these because I haven't really opened a lot. Legion Conquistador, Mark of the Vampire, Frenzied Raptor, Slash of Talons, Pirates, Oop, Colossal Dreadmaw. You can never get enough Colossal Dreadmaw. Okay, the Uncommons now, Lightning Red Crew, Bishop of the Bloodstained. Okay, that could be fun in a Vampire deck. Dead Eye Quartermaster and a Verdant Sun's Avatar. And then Swamp and a Treasure Token. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Let's do the pre release kit next. So I really love the Ikoria set. Kind of sad I haven't been able to play it in paper as much with everything that's going on. So, ooh, pre release Umori the Collector. Pop this out of here. Oops. Did not mean to literally pop it out of there, just a little pop. So now we'll open the the six boosters that come with this and see what we get. Really hoping for some alternative art triomes. You can never have enough of those. Ooh, Evolving Wilds, though. It's a great one. Ragarin Crystal. I like these crystals. So we got Bastion of Remembrance, Huntmaster Liger, and a Rael, the Everwise. That's actually a pretty solid hit. Next pack. I'd definitely be trying to play Jeskai, maybe. Depends if I get the Triome, too. That would really complete that. Another crystal. Yeah, I'd probably go there. Ooh. 
Lord Dracus and a Zagoth Lionel. Just regular art though. Pretty good pre-release kit so far. Pretty good. Seeing some solid commons and uncommons. And decent rares. See a foil in back. Zerta, the Dawn Waker. Yeah, I'd definitely be playing Jeskai. The Foil Cavern Whisperer. This would probably be a pretty solid pre-release kit for a deck. This would do really well. In sealed. As Essence Scatter with the said McKinnon art. Ooh. Alternative art Regal Leosaur. And Shark Typhoon. Now that is a really good hit. Ooh. Would I try and spa splash... Well, no, I wouldn't need to splash the blue. That's already in the color. Ha! It's been a long day, y'all. Okay. So, yeah, I would definitely be playing Jeskai with this. And I don't think my opponents would have a great... Voracious Great Shark. Yeah, I would be playing Jeskai. And I'd probably be doing pretty well in the pre-release. Okay. Last pack. Oops, see a foil. Try and hide it. Offspring's Revenge. And a Sanctuary Lockdown. So, pretty, pretty good stuff. I'm definitely happy with that pre-release kit. So, let's do the tokens real quick. But we'll flip these upside down and reveal them one at a time. Another pack of three tokens. Pretty cool. And a legendary token. Let me just refix my pile so they're nice. Okay, so. Elf Warrior, not too shabby. A Thopter, an Ooze, yes. I like the Ooze, I bought one of the Ooze decks. Ooh, an Insect. Man, these are actually things that go along with decks I play. Well, Worm is a little bit different, but very cool looking. And then a goblin, yes, definitely goblins. Love playing goblins in historic. And it is a Bruna, Light of Alabaster. We will leave that there because that is so very cool. Well, let's start on these other packs. So we'll go Modern Horizons first. I had just started back into Magic when this set came out, and I didn't really buy a box, but I did buy a lot of packs. So, Shapeshifter Token, a Lesser Manticore, and a Nurturing Deep Ant. Love it. Ooh, and a Talisman of Conviction. I love the Talismans. So, Mystery Booster. We have a box opening of this coming fairly soon, and it's a doozy. So be on the lookout for that. I uh, was hoping for a Demonic Tutor there. No Demonic Tutor. Figure eight's a decent one. Ooh, so is Beast Within. Founder, Thoptery, Guardians. A Gilded... Guided Passage, sorry. Ooh, Tireless Tracker. And a Lich's Mirror. I'd say that's a pretty solid pack. We've got our Double Masters now. And again, we'll have our Double Masters box opening here coming up soon. Ooh, Treasure Mage is a good one. Enlarge. So we got Masterwork of Ingenuity. The Scarab God. Very good hit. 
Argavian Restoration, and Dire Fleet Order for the foils. There's a few of these uh, Godzilla art cards that I need still, so I'm really hoping for, for one of them. But I am happy that I did get an Ikoria Collectors, so these don't matter. Forest. So, Daring Fiend Bonder, Full Art Shangatha, Offspring's Revenge, Huntmaster Liger, Ooh, Boneyard Lurker, the, Rang the Rangrin Triome to go with the rest of my Jeskai stuff, and that's a good hit. A Bio Quartz Space Godzilla. And then foil Leviathan guy there. Very solid hit. So we're going to open up the special cards that came with the spicy kit. And then I'll finish it up with the promo pack and the gnome repack. Okay, so keeping these, I don't know if there's one or, or more, no, there's just one. Just in one of the fancy things. Attracts a foil. Mm, my playgroup's gonna hate me so very much. <laughs> okay, the promo kit. see what we get in here. Ooh! Speaker of the Heavens, Heartfire Emulator, and a Fabled Passage. And that'll be a giveaway on our Twitch stream. So you should check us out on Twitch. Now I'm not sure what's going to come in these. From what I saw, they can be pretty spicy. So let's see how spicy they are. So we've got a foil plant token here. It's nice. We've got ooh, a gnome token. Very nice. We've got a promo foil Kunros. A pre-release containment priest. Mortify. Ashiok's Erasure. Wolf Willow Haven. A Chandra Fire Artisan foil promo. A King Caesar. Arakdos Firewheeler, Arcana Sun's Grace, and Eliminate, just in time for the Sandra Banning, Growth Spiral, Foil Canrith, Font of Hightower, and a Blight Steel Colossus with a Mystic Gate. I th think I might have a start to Atraxa. <laughs> I. I apologize in advance to the people that I play with. I can't help it. I can be a bad person. I understand that. So, we appreciate your time today and for you stopping out and joining us at today's council meeting. Hopefully you had a good time seeing what's in the gnome, the souped up version of the gnome care package and the repack. You should check out our sponsor at geekified.us. He's in the process of making more repacks, and I gotta tell you, there's some pretty spicy things going into those repacks. So, thank you for coming today. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let us know in the space below. If you'd like to know when our next meeting is, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. And we will see you at the next meeting. You can also find us in our Discord. So thank you again for coming to today's council meeting. And the meeting is now adjourned.